Miss Chance Rolls 96 here with another video uh, stemming from Comic Con 2016. This time I'm going to be talking about the DC Collectibles Films Premium line. I have a few different things to talk about. Um, first, I'm going to talk about uh, the the figures on display there. Nothing new though, just that they're actually on display so we can see some of their articulation a bit better. Then I'm going to be talking about the six new ones that they did just put on pre order that now have a price and have their accessories with them. And then talk about the rumored or uh, semi confirmed possibly um, cancelled uh, films premium figures because uh, apparently there are some that are cancelled. So yeah, so let's get started here. First I'm going to just talk about the ones that are on display. Um, for some reason there are only four on display, um, which doesn't make any sense. They, they've shown a lot more um, at uh, the toy fair, so you'd think that they would have even more to show here, and instead they just have even less. Um, possibly that might be due to those three that are cancelled, but then Wonder Woman is not uh, rumored to be cancelled or anything like that, and she would have fit in with this group really nicely. Nicely, so, and she's also supposed to come out d during the same time as these, so it is very odd that she's not on display. Um, but let's just talk about the actual figures here. They're all in pretty nice poses, except for this Batman. This Batman looks really awkward. Um, but overall, he does look really nice, and uh, you know, this was a figure that you really couldn't tell while it was on display, just staying straight up and down. But you can see that he does have a butterfly joint in there, which is quite impressive. I'm very excited about that. Um, this premium line of films figures are supposed to have better articulation. They're just supposed to be made better and more accurate and everything like that. I think a lot of that is just talk for them to charge a higher price tag. Um, you you can see that they, they do are they are slightly better than their um, than DC Collectibles average figures. However, they're just not that much better to justify the twenty to twenty five dollar upcharge on these compared to their other lines. Um, and with this guy, it's a twenty five dollar up upcharge. Uh, because he is a bulkier one, so they charge five dollars more for him. But uh, uh, you can see that the articulation is pretty good. He does have double hinge um, uh, elbows and knees. Basically, what the articulation looks like from these images is a ball jointed head, um, ball hinge shoulders on a butterfly joint, uh, swivel biceps, double hinge elbows, hinge swivel wrists um, that that are on like two swivels. So basically, the same thing that um, that uh, Mythex. Figure Arts and Hot Toys does uh, with their uh, wrist joints, which is nice. Um, you can't see it on this Batman, but you can see it on Superman. That There does seem to be a ball joint at the upper torso and lower torso. Ball joint at thighs with a thigh swivel. Uh, double hinge knees and then hinge pivoting ankles. That's what it looks like. So articulation is quite good. Is it that much better than... Um, than uh, uh, DC Collectibles normal figures, not a ton. Uh, when you take when you compare it to some of the Arkham figures I have, like uh, Catwoman and uh, Red Hood, things like that, uh, they have just about the same articulation, except they only have one ball joint uh, on, at the torso. They don't have a butterfly joint at the shoulder, and then they uh, they they just have a hinge swivel wrist instead of the the hinge and then a swivel at the upper and lower part of the wrist. So the articulation is improved for sure. Um, it's just not that much better. Uh, and obviously you're, you're, you're getting uh, charged a ton more for it. Now the Superman, um, this figure looked really bad when the preview pictures came out. It looked like he had like two shoulders. It just looked awful. Um, luckily though, with a pose, he doesn't look too bad. The thing that kind of gave him the two shoulder look was he had his normal shoulder and then he had the butterfly joint that also looked like a shoulder. Um, so when you have it posed or when you have the uh, butterfly joint in a certain position, that should be eliminated and you won't have that issue, which is nice. And then you do have a ball joint upper torso and lower torso that you can clearly see from Superman. Um, and then one thing I do like about this line that is definitely better than their other lines is that the capes are all cloth and they have a wire in them which is fantastic really nice I have to say um, however not all the figures that they are releasing have capes so you know that that's only an upgrade for certain figures yet they're all the same price but yeah looking really nice that Superman you know I was really iffy about I didn't want that version of Superman however that that would be in the correct scale with the other ones but uh but seeing it on display here, I can rest easy knowing that that's going to be a nice one. Then we do have Zod on display. Very excited about this. Uh, you know, I love General Zod and Feyora and things like that. And didn't expect to get another figure from uh, them. And uh, here we are. And we're going to get them, which is nice. Um, as you can see, it looks great. has the same articulation as the others. Um, and he should come with a uh, helmeted head as well, as some, if I'm not mistaken. 
Now, Feora, the preview pictures on her did not show any sort of joint at the thigh area. Um, and then also when she was on display at Toy Fair, there was no visible joint. Uh, so it was probably just an earlier prototype. Luckily enough, uh, seeing her in person here, she does have a thigh joint. So that will not be an issue. Um, and, uh, and that basically means that Harley Quinn won't have an issue either because uh, the Harley Quinn figure did not have a visible joint at the knee, probably just because it's an earlier preview uh, image and she will actually have uh, a joint at the knee. But Feora is looking very nice. She is going to come with the helmet as well. And really do like the capes, especially Feora's cape. That looks like some excellent detail in Feora's cape. So, uh, you know, I'm really happy about what was shown at the fair uh, or at uh, Comic-Con. It's just, it's a shame that uh, they didn't show more, basically. Now, the ones that have gone on pre-order, they did show three Suicide Squad, three, um, Batman v Superman figures. Now they're on pre-order so we can see the price and accessories. The price is the big talking point about the um, uh, with the uh, Suicide Squad figures. Because as you can see, the Batman v Superman ones have the same price tag as the other figures that have been released. They're originally 45 but Big Bad Toy Store has them for 40 um, But with Suicide Squad, they're originally, they're, they're marked as originally $35 with a $30 Big Bad Toy Store price tag, um, which is really impressive, and uh, it's not that they come with anything less, that they are just the same size as the other figures, and uh, they look to be the same quality, have the same um, accessories and everything like that. It's just the characters, I guess. I think that they are pricing these based on a character standpoint, which really does kind of show me that uh, DC Collectibles is... is a little undecided on what to do with this line, um, especially if the rumors are true that they have canceled certain figures, uh, because they're, they're just kind of going back and forth about what to do with these guys, and uh, they they must realize that they put um, uh, the figures, all of the figures at forty-five dollars was too high of a price tag, and that they and you know only certain characters were being sold to their expectations, um, which is why now with characters that aren't A characters, they are pricing them at a lower rate. That's the only thing I can think of as to be the case as to why they did this. Um, however, I'm very happy because you know I want the Suicide Squad figures more than I want the Big Bad Toy or sorry the um, Batman v Superman uh, toys. So it, it works out in my favor at least. Um, so really loving the price tag on these Suicide Squad figures. I hope more of these um, uh, these uh, figures do come out at a lower price tag like these are. And El Diablo should be at this price tag as well. Unfortunately, he was lumped in with the first group of these figures, uh, so he has that higher $45 to $40 price tag. Talking about the accessories real fast, Captain Boomerang is looking pretty sweet. I uh, really do like his accessories a lot. You get a, uh, another head sculpt with him making an expression, which is uh, you know on par to who the character is, which is nice. Comes with his hat, two hands that are holding boomerangs. They have boomerangs sculpted in his hands, and then one uh, just single boomerang at the side. Killer Croc comes with an, uh, it doesn't, it, you know, I don't think this is an extra head sculpt. I think it's just an extra hoodie piece that can snap on. He comes with a couple extra hands and a knife. First time we're seeing a Killer Croc figure come with a knife, so that's kind of interesting. Katana comes with hands and her katana, basically, what you'd expect. Um, Nightmare Batman does not come with his gun, which is extremely surprising. He comes with several uh, extra hands, but not an extra gun. So maybe it's just not pictured here. Um, I'd be very surprised if he doesn't come with it, though. That would be very strange. And then uh, the regular Batman comes with a ton of stuff. It's just, it's all really small stuff. Uh, you get his grapple gun, a couple of smoke grenades, um, three batterings, uh, and uh, and uh, an assortment of hands, including one hand that has a brand on it. So you get a nice assortment of accessories with him. Aquaman comes with a few extra hands and his trident. So basically what you'd expect. So now to talk about the rumored canceled figures. Now, I did, uh, when I made the video talking about the three Suicide Squad and three um, Batman v Superman figures that were shown, you know, just before Comic-Con, I did get a comment from somebody uh, that did say that these were canceled, and he even gave me a link uh, to look at the list to actually see which are the canceled figures, and it did seem like it was coming from a reliable source, so I, I guess these are actually canceled figures, which is definitely a shame, and uh, it really does, you know, uh, show that uh, DC Collectibles does not quite know 
what they're doing with the series quite yet. They haven't got their footing, um, you know, uh, placed correctly, considering they don't know which characters are going to sell as well as they don't know how to price them, uh, which is uh, unfortunate. I would imagine within a few months, though, they will come to a steady ground where they have a price um, that people are willing to pay and that they still make a, a you know hefty profit from, and then they they know which characters they're going to make. So uh, you know, eventually they'll they'll, they'll get their uh, groundings about them, but for now it, it is taking a while. They do seem to be a bit off. Also because um, the first assortment of these were supposed to come out in September, and uh, Big Bad Toy Story still has some scheduled for September. However, the little cards at Comic-Con read that they're coming out in December, so they're getting delayed three months. So they really are struggling with this series, at least it appears that, that is, uh, that's the case. But uh, talking about the figures that are canceled, it's jor Lex Luthor, and Namek. Um, you know, these, I'm only, I was only planning to get one of these, which is Namek. Um, I was very excited for him. It was the first time that that figure, that character was ever going to be made into a figure. And, uh, and he obviously had a sizable fight uh, scene in the movie, as well as he just, he kind of completes that Krypton group of Zod, Feora, and Namek, especially since the original Superman movie, uh, Superman 2, you know, had the three Krypton characters. So it would have been nice to mirror that in this modern form. However, it looks like we're not going to be able to do that, which is super disappointing. I was really looking forward to Namek, so very disappointed about that. As far as Lex Luthor obviously being a disappointment for most people in the movie, I don't think many people are going to be disappointed about him. However, he is in the same group as Namek as far as uh, this is one of the few figures that, you know, is being made of him. He does have the Mattel one, but just Mattel's quality is not there. Uh, so. This is a shame for people, as well as you could remove his uh, hair to make him bald, and that was the first time that was going to be able to happen. Um, so it is disappointing that uh, for people who wanted that one, although I don't think there's too many people that wanted that one. And then Jor-El, um, it is disappointing to see Jor-El get canceled. The figure looked quite nice, the head sculpt looks good, and obviously he's a cape figure, so he could have that cloth and wired cape, which is nice. Um, but there are other alternatives for uh, Jor-El. Uh, we do have a Mattel one that's a pretty decent figure, as well as uh, Hot Toys has made him too, so um, there are you know good alternatives for uh, Jor-El. Um, but for these other two, especially Namek, there's not much other uh, figures that you can get of them. So it's super disappointing that these are canceled, and uh, and also the Arkham Knight Poison Ivy was canceled too. Another figure I really wanted. So very disappointed uh, about these canceled figures. However, um, at least they're still doing uh, most of the uh, the other ones, which is good. And uh, hopefully they can get a price down for them that people can uh, can agree to pay on and that they can uh, agree to sell it at, basically. But these do look like really nice figures. I still think that they're overpriced, but it is nice to see that their articulation is actually updated. It's not updated a ton, but it does seem to be updated a fair amount, which is good. So there you go, that's my video, just kind of updating you on DC Collectibles kind of across the board for their film's premium line. A few things were covered in this video, but uh, just wanted to, uh, to share that with you. So let me know what you guys think of these figures and this uh, new information, and thanks so much for watching.